Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. dear students and viewers. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Digital Mind. Before attempting the solution of the assignment, I am going to make some requests. If you found some mistake, either regarding calculation or number, please mention in the comment section. Uh, if you want to add something uh, regarding the solution, uh, please drop your suggestion in the comment section. And lastly, but not the least, Doors are open for discussion all day. So let's go to the assignment. I'm going to drop this paragraph which is related to information. Let's come to the uh, straight forward to the question which is started from the second paragraph. Coca Cola and Pepsi. <coughs> Pepsi company are competitors in the manufacturing of beverages. They applied for loan from XYZ Bank due to current financial situation. The bank can lend loan to only one. Company. Suppose you are national advisor for XYZ Bank, you are given below some useful, <coughs> useful financial values expected from the financial statement of the two companies. Here, item Coca Cola and Pepsi. In item column, you have some different particulars uh, <coughs> regarding current assets Coca Cola 3.2 million, Pepsi. Uh, company 3.1 million, total assets rupees 10 million, and fees 10 million. Notice here that uh, total assets for the both companies are same. Total equity is rupees 8 million, and for Pepsi company is rupees 6 million. Current liabilities rupees 600,000, and uh, for Pepsi company rupees 650,000. Bank loan rupees 1.1 million, and uh, rupees 2.5 million. Total liabilities. Uh, or uh, there is a question mark, you are going to determine this for both the company, Coca-Cola company and Pepsi company. Annual interest which is 200,000, it is 600,000, marketing expenses will be 700,000 and it is 950,000. Total sales will be 25 million and will be 25 million. Here again total sales are same for both companies. <laughs> And Pepsi company like total assets. Now come to the EBIT earning before interest and taxes rupees and 7.5 million similar to the Pepsi company rupees 7.5 7 million. Earnings available for common stockholders rupees 4.5 million rupees 4.1 million respectively. One uh, thing I want to say with you that earnings available for common stockholder means net profit. Income. Part 1. <coughs> On the basis of above information, you are required to find the missing value and calculate the following leverage ratio of both companies. Moreover, com compare and briefly discuss their financial risk and ability to cover the cost. Also, suggest the best company to provide loan on the basis of leverage ratio. That ratio and time interest earn ratio, which is also known as interest cover ratio. Part 1 is related to the leverage ratio and on the basis of two uh, ratios of leverage, that ratio and time interest and ratio you are um, going to decide in to which company you are grant the loan. Part 2. On the basis of the above information, you are required to calculate the following profitability ratio of both companies. In this section, you are going to determine profitability ratios. For both the companies on the basis of which you are going to uh, decide which company you are uh, going to grant the loan on the basis of these two profitability ratios net profit margin and return to our asset. One th another thing that I am going to uh, share with you that I am going to uh, stop this assignment on Excel sheet but as per your note if you read it carefully it demands that you <coughs> show all your calculation in detail. It means that you must solve this, in my opinion, and uh, this assignment on net profit where you uh, show every step of calculation <coughs> in detail. So let's move to the solution. This is the uh, our data given uh, in the question. Here we only one thing that we are going to determine the total liabilities, and we know that total liabilities is to assess minus equity. So here is the total 10 million minus 
equity is equal to 800 or 8 million so what will get 2 million and 4 million rest of the information we already discussed uh, during the discussion of question now come to the uh, <coughs> part one here we want to determine the leverage ratio which are given uh, in numbers two debt ratios and time in interest earnings co cola and uh, total debt divided by total asset so total debt means total liabilities 2 million divided by 10 million we get 0.2 and 8 6 million sorry 4 million divided by 10 million point 4 million what does it mean that if we look at the 0.2 and compare with the 0.4 it means that a four cola company has uh, more asset to pay off their debt as compared to Pepsi company because 0.2 means uh, mean, 0.2 means 20% of their assets are uh, are available to pay off their debt while Pepsi company they are 40% of their total assets are available uh, to pay off their debt. It means four cola have less ratio as compared to Pepsi company. Times interest earned, I think it is EBIT divided by I can't see it here. Let me check it again. <coughs> so, time interest earned, which is also known as interest coverage ratio, so is obtained by dividing the EBIT and means the four interest and test taxes divided by annual interest. So, e EBIT is equal to 7.5 uh, million, are, which is same for the taxi company as well. So, 7.5 divided by 200, 237.5 and 600, 7.5 divided by 612.5. This is a ratio here. Now come to the part 2. Net profit margin is equal to net profit, not margin. Please uh, delete this margin word from here. So net profit divided by revenue or sales. So here uh, net profit is 4.5 million divided by uh, revenue or total sales 25 million which is we get 0.18 and the same is for Pepsi company 0.16%. It means our net profit margin for Coca-Cola company is greater than Pepsi company. Now the Second ratio is return on asset net income total divided by total assets. Uh, net income uh, 4.5 million divided by total assets is 10, 10 million. So 0.45 and 0.41. Again, you see that uh, Coca Cola company is getting more return on utilizing their assets 